Well, it's Monday morning. I'm on the trail right now. Getting my mind right. Thinking about what has transpired over the last couple of days. Obviously, you guys saw it all. Got the rug pulled out from underneath me at the last possible moment. I just got done with my last sparring session Thursday morning. Had been hearing rumblings since Monday, obviously, but really got the call about an hour after my last sparring session was completed. An hour after a celebration. Anybody who has trained for a fight or anybody who has gone through a training camp for something, you know, you go through a really hard block and then in order to peak, you get toward the very end to where you don't go hard anymore as to throw yourself into the fire and take the chance of injuries, overtraining, bumps, bruises, cuts, all those different things. And I had just gotten done with that. The happiest and healthiest and hardest to kill. Most dangerous man I have ever been in my entire life in that moment to 30 minutes later getting a phone call that all of that was for naught. Or was it? Reminds me of the story about the man at the bottom of the hill where God comes to him in a vision and says, I need you to push this rock. And the man pushes it and pushes it and pushes it. His shoulders are bleeding, his hands are bleeding. He is dead dog, tired, exhausted. Finally quits and looks up and says, God, why would you tell me to push this rock up the hill if you knew I wasn't gonna be able to do it? And he said, son, you misunderstood what I said. I didn't tell you to push the rock up the hill just because the rock was at the base of a hill doesn't mean I was telling you to push the rock up the hill. I was just telling you to push the rock. Sometimes in life, the best thing that you can be is just obedient to the cause, obedient to the grind, obedient to the process. And the result is going to take care of itself. Whether that result is a letdown, whether that result is a delay, whether that result is a set of circumstances in which are out of your control. So what do I do now? A little bit of uncertainty in my life. When's this fight going to happen? What date would it be re rebooked for? What venue? How bad is the injury? Reports have come out that it's not that bad, just needs a little bit of a delay, but it's still no guarantees. But I thrive in the no guarantees. Just a walk on kid from High Ridge, Missouri, who has continued to trot in a forward trajectory, no matter what the opposition, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the situation, it's not up to me to will outcomes into existence. It is up to me to do the work. We let the work talk. We do the work and we do the work until we've become undeniable. Don't you dare disrespect me by feeling sorry for me. Don't you dare disrespect me by having any kind of sympathy be emboldened by my situation. Be emboldened by my steadfastness and my immovability of hitching my dreams to a shooting star and continuing to move forward. If you've been on this journey with me for a long time, you know how I operate. You know where my, my, my mindset is, where my mental is. And it is nowhere near down in the dumps. I am emboldened by this test and this test ain't done yet. And this test shall turn into part of my testimony. So we keep moving forward in the face of adversity with complete disregard to previous failures, previous setbacks, previous things outside of our control and future opposition. love you guys. Keep walking on. God bless. I'll see you at the top.